Okay, in this video, I'll be going through how to set up a cold email, a cold outreach campaign. If you're an email list or an SMS list management agency, or this also works if you're a copywriter, for example. So let me just show you uh, what I mean here. You can go to the Instantly Lead Finder, and then you can type in uh, technologies. For these types of businesses, the first one that comes to mind would be Klaviyo, right? Klaviyo is a known uh, email list uh, flow automation uh, builder for, for Shopify, but there's plenty of others as well. For example, you can use uh, MailChimp, um, you can use ActiveCampaign, and you can filter by these uh, technologies to see, okay, you know these people here. So let's just take uh, Active Campaign. You know these people here, they're all using Active Campaign. And if you come now with your uh, pitch and you say, hey, we're, uh, we're good at building email automation flows, SMS automation flows, we can help you boost revenue, right? This is the right target market because they're already using the software and they're probably not uh, maximizing it or getting the most out of it. So you can really like these technology filters are really easy uh, and a good way to find people in your target audience that are more likely to respond to your pitch. So active campaign is one. Uh, I mentioned Clavio, so let me just uh, put that back there. And then another good way, if you don't have more ideas, you can just go to G2, which is a software review site, and you can just type in Clavio. So let's go, let's go do that. And then you can look at uh, competitors. So who are they getting compared to? Like Omnisend would be another one, HubSpot Marketing Hub, Drip, right? And these are all other ones. Let's say if we, you can also put in Drip here, not all additional email sending softwares. And then you come in and say, hey, like we're an email marketing agency. We're an expert at this. Uh, we can help you boost revenue. So. Let's just go through this. I selected the technologies. I'm just going to go for them for the, with those for now. And uh, let's say I'm going to target United States. Add that in, and I'm going to target a CEO here. And then the next step is to select the leads, and we're going to push it into a campaign. I'll, I'll show you how that works. All right, and let me just, I'm going to select a couple here. I'm going to select the first uh, 300 decision makers here. I'm going to click add to campaign, email list, management, US, CEO, then maybe add some this here, out the technologies they're using, and then I'm going to click add to campaign. So it's now it's adding the campaign. It will also verify every single lead. And that's done. We're going to click open campaign. It will open up the campaign automatically. You see the analytics. Uh, the leads are in here. Verification is in queue, which will be done in a couple of minutes. And then sequence, right? And you want to come up with a cold email. We have one here as a template. So I'm just going to use that. And then here's the subject line, simple one. I'm just going to use the merge tag, first name, and do this uh, thoughts. Here we have the cold email, right? So going back to what we did initially, we look for the leads. We filtered by uh, email marketing softwares that people are already using, companies are already using. We filter by location, we look for the decision makers, you know, most likely CEO. It doesn't have to be exactly the CEO. It can also be founder. Maybe it's the head of business development. Maybe it's the CMO, right? You can play around with those filters and look for other titles that may be the decision maker in that organization that you can call the email. Then you go to the next step, schedule. Default is already Eastern time uh, US, so we're good. We don't have to make any changes here. Let's say it was um, this was uh, leads in the UK or in Europe, then you would change here uh, the time zone. But since we're uh, targeting leads in the US, we'll keep it like this. And then we go to options. Here we select a couple sending domains. What they will do is uh, inbox rotation, right? So we have 10 inbox is selected, lead, uh, inbox number one will contact lead number one, inbox number two will contact lead number two, inbox number three will contact lead number three, and so on and so forth. That way you can send more volume at better deliverability without landing into uh, spam issues and making sure you know you get into that primary folder, which is the goal. Because otherwise, if you don't land, if you don't have good deliverability, 
looking for the leads and looking for, you know, writing up the copy and all that uh, won't be of help because they won't see it. So uh, make sure you use inbox rotation and uh, you can send 30 to 50 cold emails per day per inbox. So let's say we say, you know, you can, you can send 50 cold emails per inbox. If you have 10, 10 times 50 is obviously uh, 500 cold emails. So we could send, you know, 500 here in one day and then we launch it. So let me just uh, uh, save this and you can see how quickly this goes, right? Just think about, okay, like your target audience, which software technologies are they using? Filter by that, look for the decision makers, apply the region you want, uh, put in some simple copy, like just simple, uh, yeah, so a simple pitch, right? A simple cold email with an intro line, with your value prop, um, with a case study as well, and then a call to action. And that's pretty much it. And then you launch it and you're good to go. Um, and yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show this to you, how you can use that. If you're an email list, email marketing agency, if you're a copywriter, um, this works also for uh, other niches, but um, maybe that, that will get you some more ideas. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the, in the comments um, and I'll respond to every question and I'll talk to you soon. Hope this was helpful.